We decided to commit ourselves to a 3,000 km pilgrimage to prove our devotion to Chris Simpora. Only, as Brock students, we would do it with zero dollars. So we needed kind-hearted people to help us get there. Food, transport, roof, and money was the kind of help we needed to make it to the make of advertising. The hub of the project was the pilgrimage to Chris Pimpore, where people could read us, see our adventures, follow us on every social media network, and offer some help. The campaign kicked off with a set of humorous training camp videos where we, as pilgrims, would get ready to... People say no to you? No. 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 To eat in anything, including worms. <laughs> or even how to properly say... Crispin Porter. Crispin Porter. Crispin Porter. Crispin Porter. Crispin Porter. Crispin Porter. We also took the opportunity to advertise for one of Crispin Porter clients, Coke Zero, by recycling cans in order to make money for the trip. By then, our pilgrimage idea had spread and was featured in many blogs. Within a week, Chris Pimporter was posting our adventures on their website. Of course, we had some haters. But the number of fans on Facebook and Twitter was growing fast. And people were starting to offer some help. On the 3rd of September, 1,500 people were on the road, although only two were carrying the backpacks. It wasn't always easy. We hitchhiked. We walked in unsafe looking places. We slept in the street. We had to work hard for food. But fortunately, hell did come. People drove us accommodated us, took us out, offered food. And by the time we reached Denver, Chris Pimpola had contacted us and booked us in a hotel to make sure we got to the agency. We were warmly welcome and had the chance to meet all the great minds behind Chris Pimpola. Awesome job, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. you. Believed in yourselves, you had a great yeah. idea, and you made it happen. Our adventure came to an end. Or maybe a beginning. Time will tell. The Pilgrim 8, it's rocking, brother. That guy's rock! <laughs>